Bishop, during the day of atonement, you were counseled by two of our lost brothers. Now, the first brother which posed the question to you, he said, if you believe in Jesus so much, why are you using the African dialect, Aman? And then you had another brother come up to you saying, why are you teaching out of the Bible and not reading the Hebrew? Why are you not interpreting to the people the Hebrew? Now, I see this question come up to a lot of people. They're um, talking about the name. You got to say that in Hebrew. You got to read the Bible in Hebrew. Instead of dealing with community issues, why do Hebrew revert it to the Hebrew, the Hebrew, the Hebrew, or the name, the name, the name? Hebrew, or the original tongue, as they say, is an scapegoat for not dealing with the actual um, laws of God. That's why they do that. They don't want to keep the law as it is written, so they want to do a smoke screen with the language. When you read, like the brother that I mentioned about Amman, which is, uh, they say from uh, Egypt, Africa, whatever. When you actually examine it, the etymology of the word is actually Greek, Amman. Um, however, it's, it's uh, attributed to ancient Egypt, so hence that. But then you have the brother that says, uh, why don't we speak Hebrew? The ancient Hebrew is a dead dialect. Nobody speaks it today. That's why Zephaniah 3 and 9. The Lord says, um, for then will I turn to the people of pure language that they, may, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. That's future tense, meaning when he returns, that's what he's going to do for our people. Right now, when you read Acts 2 and verse 8, I don't know if I got in the video, I can't recall. However, uh, the scriptures say we have to deal with the people according to the languages wherein they were born. That is the law. So until our people come to that realization, they will throw up smoke screens about use Hebrew, use Egyptian dialect, languages that they don't understand to cause the people not to believe. That's the objective. And what's funny about that, Bishop, is when you, you um, that guy said, why don't you speak in Hebrew? Mm. You went up to him and said something interesting. You said you quoted Matthew 6, I believe. Can yeah. you explain what you're saying in Hebrew? Well, and can you repeat what you said in Hebrew? Abinau, Shabash, my our father, which are in heaven. That's the Lord's prayer, which we learned, which is Lash one for Dash from 1 West, 125th Street. Uh, they, they say, oh, speak that language. But nobody understands that language, except a small nucleus that came from the 1 West group. Nobody else knows what that's saying. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the Lord commanded us in Acts 2 and 8 again. It says everyone heard the gospel or the, the glory of God in the tongues wherein they were born. That's what's important. That's what is necessary for our people to repent. A black and Latin woman waiting for judgment to come on their, on their uh, Man, for child support, we get right. We get judged all the time. How come brothers like this never go to court and say you can't judge us? How come nobody says that? But when we read the Bible, you can't judge. You can't. Judge. This is some crazy thoughts. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Our people crazy. In the Bible, that right there. I see on the binder, it's KJ's Bible, King, King James. We all know who that is, right? Yeah, it's the King of England, King of Ireland. Right. Yeah. A uh -huh. murdering Sodom. But now, wait a minute. Wait, I'm, all right, because I gave you a talk. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to get to I want to come at you because you've grown, uh -huh. so I can talk to you at different levels. Uh -huh. The point I was asking to the kid was, how is it, even in an Israelite standpoint, uh -huh. because I was there, could it be born Allah? I was there. I want to understand, how is it you can praise to Jesus or call on Jesus as the one that's gonna come and bring reparation and bring the fire. Uh -huh. and call on Jesus, but yet you call Amen. Okay, I'm just answer for it. And then when you do call Amen, you do not know what Amen or who Amen yes, was. Yes, Considering the fact- Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, so, okay. okay. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. For with stammering, excuse me, for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, read again. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. The prophecy is God will speak to us in another tongue, another language, right? English is a concoction of different tongues, different languages. Like for example, the word Amen, right? It comes from where? It comes from a Mexico. Huh? Which is used with what you call it, Africa. Right, it, it comes from there. It is older than Israelites. It is all, older now than Now just listen, listen to me. Okay. All the words that we're reading in English come from some place. English is an amalgamation of all languages. Just like modern day Hebrew is an amalgamation of different languages. Okay. This is why, now give me Zephaniah 3. How do we fix the language problem? Zechariah chapter 3 verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. Read the verse above it and read that. Verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, 
saith the Lord. So now he says, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Read, uh -huh. until the day that I rise up to the prey. Let's see what the Lord going to do. For my determination is to gather the nation. His determination is going to gather all nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Why? That I may assemble the kingdom. He's going to assemble all the kingdoms. To pour upon them. To pour upon them what? My indignation. That means anger, fierce wrath. God is not coming back to pat people on the back. He's coming to kill people. Read it again. Therefore, wait ye upon me, says the Lord, second, wait, wait. until the day that I rise up to pray to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nation. Come on. That I may assemble the kingdoms to, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. Now once God destroys the nations, what is he going to do? To pour upon them my anger, Come on. even all my fierce anger. Read. For all the earth shall be devoured. All the earth shall be devoured. With the fire of my jealousy. The fire of his jealousy is thermonuclear destruction. Come on. For them. For I them. After he does that, kills the nations, destroys America, destroys Britain, what's he going to do? For then will I turn to the people a pure language. Then he's going to turn to everyone a pure language. There will be no more English. There will be no more Spanish. There will be no more uh, Russian or African yeah. dialects. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. There will be no more nothing. Read. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. That if they may call upon the name of the Lord. I'm explain oh, it to you, Lord, brother. You don't God. understand. Yes, you don't understand. Okay. Real, give me Revelation God, 18. God, Your thought is that if there's a nuclear war, yeah. the everybody's dead. That is not true. Okay. Here's the answer. I'm gonna give you the answer. Revelation 18, you know what I want. Verse 10. Say, excuse me. Standing afar off. Oh, read it nine. Verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live dedicated. Delicate, see, delicate, see, with her, deliciously, deliciously, with her, uh -huh. shall be well her and lament for her. Now the her here is talking about Babylon. When you read verse two, Babylon the Great is the United States of America. No longer is it Iraq. Verse four explains it. Verse four again. Verse four, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people." God's people are, is in captivity. Verse two now. Verse two, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devil. Verse four. Verse four, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. So God's people is in Babylon the great. What's going to happen to America? Verse 10. Verse 10, standing afar off. For the fear of her torment. For the fear of her torment, Babylon's torment, come on. Saying, alas, alas, that great city. That great city, that great country. Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour. For in one hour. Is thy judgment come? Is the judgment coming here? Come on. Verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Come on. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and of fine linen, wood and of all manner of vessels of ivory. So what's happening here in Revelation 18? Babylon the Great is being destroyed. Babylon the Great is America. Babylon the Great is where the 12 tribes of Israel are in captivity. Okay. That's who we are. Okay, hold on, Pimpin. Real quick. Yes, what's your question? He technically never answered the question. What was your question? Now, what was the question? Here I go go down. Because what was the what question? I don't like is the fact that you're using the anger for evil. Here it comes. You ready? Yeah, we ready. Go ahead. You are not from fucking earth. Remember I said this, so when it come out, you're Give gonna me, hear I'll it. Y'all star boy. We're not from here. We came here as knowledge providers. Okay. Honkies come from us as a genetic scientific now, hey, mistake. Listen, listen. It is proven in chromosomes. Listen, listen, so chromosomes. We made an accident brother, then. Listen, listen. You will find this according out later. According to the Bible. You are not listen, even from here. According to the, the Bible, the Bible's here. The, the, the Bible's here. The white man comes from Esau. 
Yes, we are in okay. 2015. Jose, one if you go to the Arab year, to the Islam, verse 10, yes, the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Uh -huh. Come on. cannot be numbered. You cannot, you cannot be measured, nor numbered, and, that one, and it shall come to pass that in your bed, where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. So in the place where it was said, you are not my people, what happens? There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons. Of the living God. God. So we're the sons of the living God. Indian, okay? The term hey, India so what did we just read? Indian. Brother, are you listening? Comes from us. What did we just read? If you add you're if listening you, to foolishness. It's foolishness. And you give if the you word look of God. up the last so words now, of Adolf the Hitler, the he will openly man? say he killed the, the honkies on purpose. Huh? And he Do wanted you know? the Jews to die because he knew the know? original Jews was us. What is the origin of the white man? His origin. Oh my God, he's a scientific mistake. Can you prove that? Yeah. You can prove it in the can chromosomes. Where is the origin of the so-called white man? Period. It, the origin yeah. of the so-called white man. Eat him. Very good. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. You All have to go back to the book is, of where ancient is, where you think the Middle East Not is. our mouth. That's Middle why we East. read to East East prove Norway. what we're saying. It Genesis 25. Africa. Get to the point. Verse, Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. Came 25, in 25, verse 25. Right, the and the first Africa. came out red all over like in hairy garment. The first baby that came out of Rebecca was red all over. Now, he got a white shirt on, right? And he got a white shirt on. Is the white man really white? Push them out. No. He's calling off the blood show The Bible itself is a loose That's why down south, what do you call it? Red man. Oh, this is a king of Egypt. It's the same The same Listen to the and the it's your head. Red. It is the same. All over. The first baby you that came out was red all over. Like an hairy garment. Uh -huh. And they Your called black, his like name can never fight Esau. His name was, his was called Esau. Go ahead. You cannot and use anger that, to beget anger. Or you will to get his anger. His hand I can't take fire and put out Esau's fire with it. Uh -huh. And his name was called Jacob. How you put out fire? Now why didn't they describe with Jacob's water. color? You have to come with something that can They described the two. It's two boys. Esau was red. Jacob had never said what he looked like. Because Jacob looked like everybody else. Go back to Genesis 2 and 7. Anyone of y'all know what the book of the dead is? Like from Anybody the heard Adam. of the book of life? Tell me of the scrolls hey, of Thebes. Hey, look at Genesis 2 and 7. Y'all know about the scrolls of Thebes? Where the other Bible at? You should come have on. three more of them. Come on. That's only one Read piece. Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? No, because that's him. Hey, just like him, just like this. And we fall with it. We were exactly. everywhere well, before Adam was a black there. man, the just like everybody Indians else on earth was black. Until Esau the in Genesis 25. Like you got that? Do you understand that? You, you understand that? Like All praise to the most high. Like Come on back, brother. He grew up watching the food and been fucking. You know what's wrong with that black man? Black men have so much knowledge, he don't even know how to fix his own neighborhood. But that will speak out like you will think they know something. Fix your own neighborhood first. Yeah. That's why we chitching here. I to occupied cheat. Wall listen, listen, Street in four listen, different brother. states. Listen, I done fought police up and down in fucking 13 of them. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Don't mean I've nothing. been fighting oppression probably boy, in Brooklyn when Brooklyn riots what's went down. You wasn't even born. What's good is I was there. Not, not I lived it and did it. You don't know what's what you're talking about. I tutor for free. I don't get paid to do what I do. I make my own money. I tutor for free. I help people out my own pocket. I don't have to run around and promote it. It's not what that's about. Yeah, if you're about doing it, you Genesis, don't talk about it. Chapter you 2, do. verse 7. Let me show you something. Period. And I go to Hosea for himself. You know what's wrong with our people? Give or take that one right When there, God knowledge fire. left our mind, we'll we become zombie and dumb. An we think the book of the dead is something. This is the book of life. No, it is not. The this book is of the life book of story. And you don't even have all this of the This is Bible. the book of life. It's older than you. Now, let's prove it. This is a book of life. Yes, Give me sir. more book four in one place. Do not read it. Do not Give read me it in its four in context. one place. Do you not read it This is the book of life. life. You're not book. reading it's now. You don't even have them. Where's the scrolls of thieves? If you're not reading it in the script, that's somebody else writing. Somebody else wrote that. Read it when it comes. Read it. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. He said if we're not reading it, show me, show me. In its original scripture, then like somebody else wrote that. Somebody using their words. Well, we know the original scriptures, so let me help you. The Lord's Prayer, Abinawa, Shabbat Shemayim, Kwadash, Hayah, Shemka. 
What did I say? I don't know. What language did you say it in? <laughs> Woo! That's how dumb we become, man. Read. Read what you got. That's not Hosea, my chapter it's four, not. verse God six. Know that. My you people, dumb. you're dumb. You don't call me dumb. You don't know lack me. of knowledge. You don't don't even know. That's what I'm saying. My people you are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You don't have no knowledge, brother, brother. because you destroy. You know what? You don't because have all your knowledge. Now, you have to let go of your knowledge. You let go of the fact that you came and stopped the fight. My people are angry. Your man is right. You are angry. You are angry. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God. We and the law that endureth forever. God's law is that forever. Go ahead. All they that keep it, you see, all those that keep God's law, we shall come to life. You see, the only way you can come to life. Life is to apply God's law. It's for real. You come God, out, I don't care if you red, green, blue, or black. Life life is, not is to learn way. God's law. Not I don't care what color you are. But such as, as living, that's all right. They lost the knowledge. You will die. You're in, You're in a dead state, brother. You're in a dead state. You're in a dead state. That's why you went to Catholic to get that thing. You're in a dead state. That's where it's too far. You're a joke, man. You're a joke, nigga. By the time the Bible came along, you were joking. You asked Wednesday, man. Come on, you're a joke. You're a joke. You're a joke, man. We got that nigga. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I've been in the 54 years. I've been talking the same bullshit on all these knowledge. But that don't mean nothing. I'm just an old fool. That's no, you're, you're a fool. fool. You're a fool. You're this one, you're a fool. You're, you're, you're angry. You're ignorant, angry. You're angry. angry. You're, you're, angry. angry. You're, you're angry. You're angry. You're angry. You're angry. You're angry. Knowledge means you're angry. You're angry. Knowledge means you're angry. You're an angry black man. Hosea, chapter four, you're verse you're six. Millennia. You're, you're supposed to be angry. That state that I see your guys in. That community that I'm supposed to be angry. I'm coming from work. I'm supposed to be angry. I'm supposed to be angry. Nigga, I came from work. of my people, brother. I'm supposed to be angry. You're not angry. That make you a nigga then. No, if you're I'm not angry when niggas selling K2 and y'all stupid motherfuckers you ain't doing smoking. Nothing to them. You ain't doing nothing. What you doing? What you okay. think we're doing now? That ain't nothing. No, you preach hate. That ain't nothing either. You preach hate. Look, 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 look. Let's look what's around us. Look, man, that shit's going on. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now you on. What knowledge we destroy on? Go back to your country, man. Love Fuck your out. own people, and that's not it either. Go back to your country. Now you got emotion on America is our country. You just got emotion for the song. I'm not emotion. Real talk, nigga. No, that's not what I thought. Help with the fuck you come from. Where you came from, help where you came from. Wherever I came from, guess what? Guess what? Wherever I came from, guess what? Why you ain't helping them over there? You're talking to that shit. Are you listening? Are you listening? Wow. In the beginning of helping any race, of helping anyone, what is the fundamental uh, foundation you research. need to help if people? Let me ask you. Out, to teach okay. knowledge, no person Occupy Wall Street from is garbage. Insulted. Occupy Wall Street like is nothing. It's like about old, white people man. trying Love to get power old. in the earth again. These two guys here, they don't know how to help people at all. What is the fundamental foundation of helping any people? Let me ask you, you brothers, how do you start to help people? Him. That's helping him. Is, is that this? Give me John 14, 15. Let me show you love. Let me show you love. Because there's a misconception about love. Everybody thinks if you hug somebody, that's help. Come on. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandment. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. So the beginning of love is obedience to the commandments, right? Now, let's say this, just for example, if I'm a thief, he's a liar, he's a dope dealer, he's a drug addict, us four, right? And you got a brand new building. Let's say, you, you got, let's say you're rich, you built a brand new house, and you give it to us, what were we doing? Huh? Take now, brother. Destroy. We'll destroy it. You just never feel. You don't give a care. That's right. That's it. That's what's going on. So, right. 
So what must be changed first in us? We got to change ourselves. This got to be changed. If I'm a, a dealer, a liar, a that got to be changed first. That like John 3, 3. This is why Christ said this. You understand, right? I'm glad you understand. John 3, 3. Come on. Book of John, chapter 3, verse 3. Watch this. Watch this, brother. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, Except a man be born again in his mind, He cannot see the kingdom of God. He can't see the kingdom. Because if the kingdom of God came right now, And I'm a thief, He's a liar, He's a drug dealer, You're a drug user, We will destroy it. So the mind must be fixed first. That's right. Yeah, you understand that? Yeah, I'm talking about that. I'm glad you talk about the word. He watched Paul Schroeder. He just talked about the money. He just talked about the money. Here you go. That's, that's now watch this. I love the money. Here you go. John, 2nd Angel 14, listen to this. Yeah, come on, watch the this. The book of 2nd Angel, chapter 14, listen, listen, verse 34. Therefore, if so be that ye subdue your own understanding. This is going to explain what it means to be born again. Read it again. 34. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding. Subdue your own understanding. Whatever you think you know, forget it. Go ahead. And reform your hearts. And reform your hearts means change your way of thinking. Change the way you think according to God's laws. Come on. Ye shall be kept alive. You shall be kept alive. So the two brothers that was here screaming, or you're not helping nobody. Help comes first with fixing this. If you give a drug dealer a million dollars, he's going to sell drugs. Yes, he will. If you give an adult for a million dollars, he's going to get hoe after hoe. Nothing has changed. This got to change first. Do you understand? Do you understand? That's what I said. We don't have to change. Yes, we got to change. How about actions going to change? Yes. Now, Proverbs 121. Proverbs 121. That's it. This, now, the brother also said, we're not doing anything standing on the corners. Come on. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 21. She cried. Oh, 20. Yeah. Wisdom crieth without. Wisdom crieth without. When we exalt our voices, it's not anger, it's not hatred. It's so that the people back here can hear. That's all. Come on. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Where does wisdom utter her voice? She uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom is in the streets. That's the prophecy that the Israelites must be in the streets uttering wisdom. You understand that? That's why Israelites are on the street, so that the mind can be changed. Once the mind is changed, we can work together. You understand that? Watch this. Give me Ephesians 4. You, you, can, you say where you at Ephesians 4. Watch this. The brothers here were saying about us coming together. They don't know how to organize. Ephesians 4, start at 3. The book of Ephesians. Chapter 4, verse 3. Un endeavoring, endeavoring. Endeavoring to keep the unity. Endeavoring to keep the unity. Key word, unity. Another word for unity, solidarity. Come on. To keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. Read. Verse 4. There is one body. And keeping unity, there's one body. The one body is the nation of Israel. Go ahead. In one spirit, there's one spirit that we all have. Go ahead. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling. We all have one hope in this calling. Go ahead. One Lord. There is one Lord. Go ahead. One faith. There is one faith. Go ahead. One baptism. There is one baptism. One God. There is one God. One Father of there, all. There is one Father of all. Do you see what this is saying? In unity, we all must be one. Black men don't understand that. You got Occupy Wall Street. You got Islam. All this garbage. The Bible teaches us we must be one in Christ as Israelites. If you're not coming that way, you're going to die. That's right. Understand that. We've tried voting, 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 religion, religion, marching. It has failed. We're still in the same predicament we are now. Now let's try God. How about that? Let's try returning as Israelites. We've not tried that yet. I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ.
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.